making biryani is not really a big deal. It's all about love. So today, let me give you a taste of love. So first up we are dry roasting the whole spices. You can pause the screen and get a hold of these ingredients. I know it's a long list because personally I like making my own spice blend but you can always go to the market and get a ready made spice blend. So I'm going to cool it down for some time and then blend it to a fine powder and voila. Your perfect biryani masala is ready. Next up, for marinating the chicken, I'm using 500 grams of chicken and to that I'm adding 1 cup of beaten curd. Then I'm gonna sprinkle some of the biryani masala that I used and 1 tablespoon of ginger garlic paste and salt according to your taste. You really wanna get in there with your hands in, like give that a nice massage and don't get naughty boys. <laughs> okay. Keeping that aside, I'm going to use some long grain basmati rice and letting that soak for some time. Chicken hoye galo, rice hoye galo. Arey ekhon to main jinish chahi hulo na. Alu chana biryani hoye nahi. Just applying some salt and a pinch of turmeric powder to the potatoes and then taking it to massage down once again. For frying, I'm heating up a pan with some oil and I'm going to quickly fry these potatoes on medium low heat for some time until they are nicely cooked and golden brown on the oven. So these potatoes are now nicely done and I'm gonna keep them out and let it sit aside and in the meanwhile I'm gonna prep my onions I'm gonna take about two medium sized onions and slice them all the preparations are done and now we can finally start cooking in a pan I've taken a generous amount of refined oil into that I'm adding my onions I'm gonna sprinkle some salt over it to sweat the onions to get them nicely caramelized and translucent. After that, I'm adding the marinated chicken to the pan. You need a little bit of red chili powder for that amazing kick of flavor. Once the chicken starts releasing oil, I'm gonna add some water, put the lid on and let it simmer for a while. About 15 minutes later, the chicken will be almost done. We'll keep that aside for some time and in the meanwhile, I'll start preparing my rice. So here I've taken a pot of boiling water and to that I'm adding my soaked basmati rice. And don't forget to add some salt to the water. Adding some cardamom and cinnamon to the rice takes the aroma game to another level. We'll cook the rice for about 10 minutes till it's 80% cooked and then we'll start layering the rice on our cooked chicken. On every layer of rice, I'm sprinkling the biryani masala generously and don't forget to add some ghee on every layer. To about half a cup of milk, add 5 to 6 drops of meat hatar. 2 teaspoons of kyaura water and about 1 teaspoon of rose water. Give it a good old mix and your concoction for the perfect biryani is ready. After pouring the aromatic milk, put on the lid and let it cook for another 15 minutes on very low heat. I wish you could smell that. Okay, and after drooling, I'm gonna grab myself a plate. And what are you guys waiting for? Go make it yourself and let me know in the comment section how did you like it. So yeah, that's it for this time. This is your host Shefo, signing out.